The Best Practices Analyzer, or BPA, is a great idea to run after you install your Windows Server. And this is Windows Server 2025, as you can tell by the menu at the bottom. So what you can do is go to the local server, and this is in Server Manager, which launches automatically, and then just scroll down a little bit until you get to the Best Practices Analyzer, which you see here, and then go to Tasks, and choose to start it. What's going to happen is it's going to look for vulnerabilities and give you best practices for security on your Windows server. And this also works on previous versions of Windows as well. It usually takes a minute or two to run. You can tell with the scrolling bar that it's still going in the background and checking for everything. You may notice some command prompt boxes or PowerShell boxes pop up every now and then as it looks for vulnerabilities. And here are all the different things that the server said is not up to date with best practices. Some are security related, some are just misconfigurations, things like that. So let's take one of these. More than one forwarding server should be configured for DNS. So I'm going to go up to Tools and choose DNS. And I'll right click on the server, go to Properties. I go to forwarders, and sure enough, there's only one forwarding IP address. Let me add another one. I'll add a public one this time. Click OK, OK. And now I can run this one more time. Let's see if it resolves. So I'll go to tasks once again and start the scan and let it run. And after a restart of the best practices analyzer, we can see that issue has now been resolved because it is no longer in the list. It's always a good idea to just make sure that any one of the different things that you're going to make changes to is not going to cause a problem with your server. You might end up seeing that some of these issues that you resolve cause other problems, maybe with applications or with the firewall, things like that. So always test everything out after you resolve it and then back it out if needed. You can also right click on any of these different areas and choose to exclude the result because of the fact that you don't really want to have that show up in the analyzer results. So that is how you use the Best Practices Analyzer in Windows Server 2025, and it also works in previous versions as well.